Hello everyone, this is teacher Hadil again. How are you doing today? Grade 3, are you ready for our new lesson for this week? Okay, let's start. Now please, you should bring your science book, your workbook, and your pencil. Now, grade 3, let us review our previous lesson. It talks about how does force affect motion. Okay, now look at number 1. Look at the picture. When you push or pull an object, this is called... Think about it. Correct. Force. Now look at number two. Is a contact force that act against the direction of motion. What's your answer? Correct, friction. Now let's go to question number three. Are forces equal in size and opposite in direction? Look at the picture and try to think about the answer. Well done! Your answer will be balanced forces. Now go to question number four. Look at the picture while I'm reading the question. Are not equal in size and are opposite in direction. Do you remember? Excellent! Your answer will be unbalanced forces. And the last question now is a non-contact force that pulls on or attracts metal objects containing iron. Great job! Your answer will be magnetism. Students, now we will do the homework in the workbook pages 17 and 18 for the previous lesson. Words to know? Write the word next to the description it matches. Force, friction, magnetism. Number one, a non-contact force that pulls the metal objects containing iron. The answer is magnetism. Correct. Number two, a push or pull. It's force. Excellent. Number three, a contact force that opposes the motion of an object. Friction. Well done. True or false? Write it true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Number four, a large force will cause a greater change in motion than a smaller force. Your answer should be true. Correct. Number five. Magnets attract wood, plastic, and paper. Your answer should be false. And number six. The smooth tile produces less friction on the wheels than asphalt does. Your answer should be true. Correct. Now let us answer question number seven. How does an object's mass affect its motion? The answer is, an object with more mass needs more force to move. Question number eight. In what ways can unbalanced forces affect an object? The answer is, unbalanced forces can cause an object to move or can it change the speed or direction of a moving object? Okay, now question number nine. Think of an object you have seen in motion. Describe the force acting on it. How did those forces affect the object's motion? The answer is, when you throw a ball, the ball will change its position because of the pushing force.
My students, we will start with a new chapter, chapter number two, energy and its forms. And we will talk about lesson number one, what are some forms of energy? Pages 47 to 51. Grade three, do you remember that every week we have a new lesson with a new learning objectives? Okay. Now, our learning objectives for this week. Number one, you will be able to know the meaning of energy. Number two, classify and compare different forms of energy like sound, light, heat, electrical energy, and mechanical energy. Number three, differentiate between potential and kinetic energy. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to figure out the meaning of these words. Energy, electrical energy, sound energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. Now please open your book to page 46 and 47 and look at the picture at the top of the page and let's read the question all together. Circle any place you see energy in this picture. Think about it. Where do you think you can see energy in this picture? Okay, you can get energy from eating the food, right? Like the bread, juice, jam, even the toaster. Okay, students, look at the picture and let's read the question together. How do you think this car gets energy to move? Think about this question. How do you think this car gets energy to move? Yes, your answer should be the car needs fuel to move. Correct, thank you. So, energy is everywhere. Energy powers our cars, trains, and planes. Students, have you ever asked yourself why the sunlight is very important in our life? I will tell you. Sunlight energy warms our homes and helps the plants grow. So, energy from the sun causes lettuce to grow. My students, open your textbook to page 47 and let us answer question number one together. Complete the graphic organizer below. Write the three effects of the sun's energy. So, what are the effects from the energy from the sun? Number one, plants grow. Number two, winds blow. Number three, water moves through the water cycle. Grade three, have you ever asked yourself why we eat food? Okay, we eat food to get energy to run. Now, it's the time to know the meaning of energy. Energy means is the ability to do work or to cause a change. Okay, students, do you know that you use many forms of energy every day in your home? Okay, so now let us know about the forms of energy. Number one, electrical energy. Repeat after me, electrical energy. Number two, light energy energy repeat after me light energy excellent heat energy repeat after me heat energy okay number four mechanical energy number four mechanical energy and the last one 
sound energy repeat after me sound energy let's explain more about them now here we will explain about the first form of energy electrical energy electrical energy is the transfer of electric charges electrical energy lights our homes electrical energy powers things that use electricity such as a lamp electrical energy makes our tvs and radios work now students let's talk about another kind or form of energy the light energy do you know that the light energy is very important in our life yes i will tell you why light energy is energy that allows you to see we get light energy from the sun candles or fire now number three heat energy heat energy is the transfer of energy from a warmer object to a colder object now look at the picture you can see that we can use the fire to cook our food now please open your textbook to page 49 we have mechanical energy repeat after me mechanical energy mechanical energy is energy that motion or position gives to an object now please look at the picture you can see a girl right okay she is taking her box from her back to a desk this kind of energy is called mechanical energy now students please repeat after me sound energy sound energy is energy we can hear like in the guitar or maybe you can hear the sound from the drums now students please open your book to page 48 and let's find the answer for question number two circle things that use electrical energy think about it circle things that use electrical energy okay let's find the answer well done excellent now open your textbook to page 49 and let's find the answer for question number four question number four please place an x on things that produce sound energy excellent now let's find the answer for question number five what machines in the home use mechanical energy think about it of course the toothbrush or alarm clock energy can be stored please look at the picture look at the rock at the top of the mountain okay this rock has stored energy so stored energy makes movement possible stored energy is a potential energy so potential energy as stored energy makes movement possible a rock resting at the top of the hill is not moving it has potential energy due to its high position The higher an object is, the more potential energy it has. For example, the snowboarder at the top of the hill in the photo has potential energy because of his high position.
The stored energy in fuels, food, and batteries is chemical energy. Stored chemical energy can change into a form that can do work. For example, the stored energy in food is released to help you move. It can also keep your body warm. Again to the rock. A rock resting at the top of the hill is not moving. It has potential energy due to its high position. But here in the picture, as the rock rolls down the hill, the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. So now, what I mean by kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is energy of motion. The faster an object is moving, the more kinetic energy it has. So now look at the picture. A boy running has more kinetic energy than a boy walking. And finally, my students, let's find the answer for question number 10 and question number 11 in your textbook page 51. Question number 10, write one way each type of energy is used in everyday life. Electrical, electricity makes a light bulb light. Mechanical, mechanical energy makes a car move. Sound, sound let us listen to music. Now let's find the answer for question number 11. How can energy be used to move or lift objects? Think about it. The answer is, a crane can use energy from fuel to lift a load of bricks. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.